Hi there, it's Deborah. Today we're going to take a look at installing our own custom template in our WordPress blog. What you see on the screen is my own blog, which can be found at myvirtualpartner.com forward slash blog. Now I use a search engine plugin which has provided the framework for my blog and I've added my own custom header and sidebar items. What I'm going to show you today is a great site to purchase pre-made templates and how to install those on your blog. In the offline resources that go along with this video, I'll provide a few contacts for those of you who want to have a custom template designed. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to switch screens for a second and we're going to head to the place where I purchase templates for some of my clients. In the browser window, go to http colon forward slash forward slash www.templaterolodex.com That's www.templaterolodex.com Once the screen loads, I want you to browse down to the search products area. And I want you to select the arrow by the product drop down and we are going to click off WordPress themes. Now you'll notice on this website that you can also purchase templates for your website, you can purchase templates for your e-commerce or your shopping cart, or you can purchase items such as a logo and templates for your corporate identity. What we're going to be looking for is WordPress themes. Click the close. You can narrow down your search to category, I usually leave that blank and I narrow my search down by keyword. I'm going to use the keyword recipe. Then you hit search. Now you'll notice that the search resulted in 22 templates. So I'm going to take a look at some of them. And I will select this one. If you scroll over the template image it will show you a pop-up of a larger view and then if you click on it it will actually open up a new window with a full-size view of your template. You can also click to see a live demo of the template which will open up another window and you can actually see the template installed on a mock blog. If everything is to your liking, you switch back to the window where you can purchase the template. You just click on buy this template. Click checkout. And you just continue with your order process from there. I'm going to pause the video while I complete the process and I'll be back with the next step. Hang tight. Welcome back. Hopefully you managed to select a theme and purchase it without any problems. You've also saved it to your hard drive and unzipped the entire folder somewhere on your hard drive. Now if you look in the read in the folder that you just unzipped, there is a README document that walks you through the steps you'll need to take in order to install the theme on your blog. But let's walk through it together as well. So I'm going to switch over to my FTP program. I'm going to open the server that I'm going to install this on, browse to the blog folder where I have my WordPress blog installed, browse to the wp-content folder and the subfolder called themes. I'm going to create a new folder called recipe theme and then I'm going to open that folder as well. On my server side, uh, on my sorry not my server side, on my computer side I'm going to go directly into the folder where I have the theme and I'm going to upload the entire contents to my web server. Now while this is uploading Let's switch back to the blog. Okay, 
So here's my regular blog area. In order to reach the admin panel, all you need to do is add wp forward slash admin to the URL and click enter. Now I already have it open over here. You're going to browse to the presentation tab and the theme tab. You'll see that the WordPress theme is visible in the themes that you've selected. I'm just going to check to make sure that the upload has finished and it looks complete. So back to the admin. The current theme I'm using is listed here. To switch to the new theme, I simply click on the theme and it's been activated. So if I head back to the blog, it's been refreshed and you'll see that the new theme has been installed. And that's essentially all there is to it. Hope if you have any questions, please let me know. Hope you've enjoyed this video.